Hello everybody, Brad here today and welcome back to another First Look DLC announcement video. So the first thing you're probably wondering is, another DLC? Already? Yes, we've got another DLC coming for Project Hospital. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the Steam page, there's a few photos on the Steam page and then there are a few photos that they've posted to their social medias, as in the oxymoron social medias, uh, with a few different photos. So we'll also look at those. So, a couple things. Firstly, please consider subscribing down below to keep up to date on all of the brand new information. As soon as the DLC is out, there'll be loads of videos, live streams maybe, all of that kind of jazz. So subscribe down below and like this video if you are just as excited as me for this DLC. So it's Traumatology, which is interesting because we've kind of suspected this for a while. Um, a couple of members of my Discord group and the Project Hospital Discord group, which are both fantastic, um, kind of quite early on suggested that this might be the next DLC. So we've got Traumatology. So dealing with all types of trauma and serious emergency conditions, diseases, incidents. So we've got a release date of October this year, which isn't that far away. So I'm currently recording this today on the 23rd of September. So that is not very far away. This could theoretically be with us, you know, in a week, nine days, if it's early October. Who knows? So let's go down here and we're going to read the description for this. Traumatology department is ready to save lives of the most severely injured patients. This expansion of Project Hospital brings 42 new diagnoses, helicopters, new equipment and events. Most critical cases will now arrive in a helicopter. New equipment includes wheelchairs for transport of patients with lighter wounds, special equipment and new decorations. The DLC also introduces new graphics and animations for injured patients including visible wounds. You'll see patients leaving with bandages or walking with crutches. Note, wounds can be hidden if you want to. New challenging events focused on the department let you deal with the consequences of different disasters, accidents or crime. Well, there's lots to take in there. So I'm going to be completely honest with you. I, I, I want to be honest and I don't want to um, just kind of waffle my way through a video. So, uh, I am slightly worried. I, I will be completely honest. I'm slightly worried that again we're going to have a DLC with not that much new content. I, I really hope I'm pleasantly surprised, and I wouldn't be surprised if I was surprised. But I, I, I have to be honest and say that I was mildly disappointed with the um, Department of Infectious Diseases DLC. I felt like, to me, it felt like more of a game update rather than a paid for expansion slash DLC. So I really hope that this is going to have more of that feel. I believe it does say somewhere it's 5.99 euros. It was somewhere. I don't know where now, but it said something that was 5.99 US dollars slash euros. But please don't quote me on that. It's around there anyway. The, the others have been similar prices as well. So let's jump into a few of the pictures. We'll do a bit of nitpicking, see if we can find out any I mean, like hidden features, anything like that. Um, right, so let's get to it. So we've got obviously the clear edition of helicopters, which is awesome, yeah, because I love the helicopters. Um, you know, like in theme, did Theme Hospital have helicopters? I'm sure it did. I'm sure one of the level icons was at least a helicopter. But I'm really, really excited for this. I'm really glad that they've put helicopters in the game. Very, very much so. So yeah, we can see the helicopter here on a helipad. So we will have to, um, in our hospitals, kind of, you know, designate this space for a helicopter. And then you can also see that also we have this new floor type coming around the edge here, just as like a warning around this helicopter pad. But it looks awesome. I assume this looks like to me just one of like the standard paramedics in the game that also like drive the ambulances. But overall looks really, really good. So the next image, and this is an interesting one. So when I was looking at this, I saw that everyone was kind of in bandages. 
some of these people have these kind of like leg splints on as well and one of the new things I saw was this so this looks like a brand new equipment cupboard and it looks like we can put things in here because that to me looks like a spirometer and one of the other machines like a CRP machine or an audiology machine and then this here also looks different is this a new bed socket or did this come with infectious diseases it looks like a new bed socket to me but I might be wrong because that's the old you can see the very edge look there of the old bed socket this looks like a new one and this is what I'm very much interested about so this flame icon that to me signifies that this room here is a burns ward and all of these people are suffering from burn injuries which is really interesting because it means you're going to have your observation ward standard in emergency that we already have that you're going to have your trauma center in emergency which you already have but it looks like we're going to get at least one new room zoning or just new room which is a burns ward so i'm really interested to see how that's going to work but yeah really interested i love these like new bandages are really cool um the splints are awesome so really interested to see this i just i hope it's not to me it looks like it's just a really simple addition all it means is that we're going to have another ward um, for burns so I, I hope we're going to get a little bit more out of this dlc so let's continue on to the next screenshot okay so this is another one of kind of like the equipment um travel vehicle it's kind of updates so i'm counting this in the same bucket as like helicopters um, we've got crutches wheelchairs as you can see so the wheelchairs are cool because that is something that kind of you know when you're trying to build a realistic hospital you find you find yourself kind of self-doubting yourself because how can you call a hospital realistic if you've got patients walking around with broken legs you know so really really glad to see um, wheelchairs in the game hopefully now when people have broken legs or you know have had you know really like life altering surgeries they're going to be transported around either in a stretcher or in a wheelchair not just having a little stroll through the hospital okay so another one now this is another interesting one so this to me looks like a trauma center okay i think this is the prefab maybe for a trauma center i'm not too sure on that guys don't quote me on that but the thing I'm really interested in are the uniforms and these wounds. We will see a patient card shortly in a couple, it might even be the next screenshot. We will see a patient card and some of those kind of illnesses, diseases and the conditions that they have are things like gun wounds. So really interested to see this. Now this looks like a fireman to me. It looks like the American fireman outfit. But really interested to see it looks like he's had some kind of wound there on his left leg so really interested to see like how this is going to play out and I hope that we don't get too many of these patients coming in I think it would be quite unrealistic if you know you have like a small community hospital um, and if we get like you know these like gunshot wounds stab wounds coming in all day that might not be quite realistic hopefully um, you will only get these patients coming into your hospital if you have the helicopter pad but we'll see how that kind of works out so this is screenshot number five so there are a few things here so first of all we can see that this lady over here looks like she is a police officer that again looks like an american police officer uniform and she has another wound on her shoulder and this lady here is Kate Hall now again you can see a wound here just above her breast and when you look at the possible diagnoses here you have things like upper abdomen gunshot wound which that could be it could be an abdominal stab wound she's got neck ballistic wound abdominal shattered wound abdominal ballistic wound and leg shattered wound so that's interesting so the only thing I can see different here are new diagnoses um, life goes on I think is already a current insurance company no new symptoms it looks like or examinations or treatments that looks like it's all the same to me um, but please let me know if I've missed anything but we have some confirmed new diagnoses here 
Okay, so we have this gentleman here on his crutch. So he's obviously had something wrong with his lower left leg. So he's strolling out of the hospital, but probably pretty slowly because he's having to use a crutch. Which again, it's really nice to see, because like I said earlier, it was a bit unrealistic to see patients you know, with broken legs and stuff like that, just strolling through the hospital. So I'm really glad that they're adding wheelchairs, crutches to the game. So the last screenshot here on Steam, they always release a new hospital with a new DLC. Now, I really, really like this. It looks really cool. It looks kind of, to me, it looks more like a UK hospital. Like it's quite realistic to have, you know, that kind of brick um, exterior, these windows look nice. I suppose it could be a hospital anywhere, really. The helipad looks cool. Um, I love these entrances with like the little um like the, the full glass front looks really cool the parking lots look awesome i'm not sure what's happening with the ambulances i don't know if i would mix the ambulances like the yellow european style and the american style i don't know if I'd, I'd mix them in the same hospital but overall it is a cool looking build right so we also have a few pictures which were posted out on their social media pages so either their twitter or their facebook page and i don't want to just show you them they, they do just show things that we've already seen but you know i want to i want to show you every photo that i know of so this is another photo obviously of the wheelchairs here now in the game which yeah it looks really cool it's nice to see them is it going to mean that we need to have more nurses because obviously you know especially when i build my hospitals i know that other people do it I try and have a separate um, number of nurses that just do stretcher transports. But is this going to mean that we're going to need more nurses? Because obviously before, if you had, you know, like a bruised ankle or a broken leg, I believe you just walk to the x-ray or just walk to the doctor's office. But is this going to mean that we're going to need more nurses doing transport in the game? Not too sure, but it'll be really, really interesting to see what you think. And I just can't wait to see it in action. And the last screenshot which I'm going to leave you with here today is this one. So again, I believe this is going to be showing us a burn ward in the game. So it basically, it was captioned on Twitter with like, hello, Mr. Imhotep. Something about Mr. Imhotep, but the full um, body and bandage does look cool. I again hope that we're not going to see too much of this. Because again, that's going, for me at least, to distort the realism a little bit if we see too many patients in full bandage mode. But we'll see how it goes. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave you on this one today. Please subscribe down below to keep updated. Like the video if you enjoyed it and if you're excited for the new DLC. And comment down below with any of your thoughts, concerns, queries, things you're really excited about. Let me know guys. Please take care of yourselves. Hopefully I'll see you very soon with the DLC. And I will see you later. Thank you very much for watching the video guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. Please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel down below if you haven't done so already. And please feel free to follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Have a great day, see you later.